Today in this video, I'm going to show you an interesting problem solution. It's about like few days ago, I was get this problem. I cannot edit this section in WP Bakery inside, you know, the backend editor. I cannot cross the section or raw. I cannot clone it. I cannot duplicate it. I cannot do it anything. I mean, I cannot hover in there. I just hover, but nothing happens, something like. But unfortunately, now it's working because I was already fixed this problem and few days ago someone comment in the WP Vigory video someone tell the same problem so that's why I'm just making this video like uh, how I was overcome the problem and how I was fixed the problem I will show you in this video so before start this process you have to install three plugin it's needed it's needed to install uh, one is the all-in-one migration plugin or any other like duplicator or any other plugin that you personally like and that you believe in future, if you make anything else, then you can easily restore your website. So in my case, I personally recommend all-in-one migration or using duplicate this through plugin and take a ba backup first of all. Take a backup of your website. Then what is needed, it's needed in a duplicate page. You have to install an additional plugin. Just hover on the plugin and click on add new and search page duplicate and then install this plugin yourself. I activate this plugin, okay? And then you have to install another plugin. It's about like classic editor. If you search in here, the plugin search option, then you will get the plugin and you have to install this plugin. Okay, so when you successfully install the plugin, when everything is installed done and your backup process is done, then what just you have to come here the pages and we are going to duplicate the page that you want to edit. For example, in my case, I'm just getting this problem in my home page like this. So I'm going to duplicate the page. So I'm just coming on the page and uh, here, okay, so here the front page and uh, you have to click on here the duplicate this button. When you click on there, then you will get this draft file also. And now you have to click on here the button edit with WP page builder. I'm just going to edit this or you can, you can edit this main file also as you wish. Okay, because this file is for our, uh, you know feature like if we make something wrong you know in our this page then we will replace the page into our this so uh, first of all let me show you the solution then i will show you i just make a problem then i will show you how you can do this and why this making this duplicate i'll show you all the things so don't worry about this okay so now uh just click on here you did the wp page builder then you will get something like this type of page so you have to click on here this backend editor button okay here the backend editor so when you click on the backend editor then you will get something like the page and now we can now we already know the interface you know guys in my case this is not working okay so first of all i have to see this type of thing available or not so i see here this type of thing is available this section and this section almost similar so um, what I have to do, I'm just going to duplicate this section because this is working. Okay, so I duplicate this section and I have to just take this thing and just drag and drag and drag. I can drag. Okay, let me drag and drag. Okay, so here is the drag option. I mean, I just put it down here and now I just copy. Okay, so since we cannot copy this thing, so let me click on the pen icon. And I since we can copy it from our font page so I just copy the text from here and now as you can see it's loading and now I'm just going to paste the text and let me save it down here let's save and let's click on the preview option to see the preview how it's looking now I mean it's it working as well or not all right so as you can see we get two things here and it's looking perfect I mean no issues coming here so we can easily delete this first one because the first one is not working so we have to delete this thing okay so now what you have to do we have to click on here the classic mode okay just click on the classic mode this one kind of uh, like a uh, uh, hard thing for understand but i have a short solution so don't worry about this thing okay and don't afraid about this okay so it's an, we are not getting any kind of uh, problem here because we already have backup so don't worry okay so if you see here that first take is like let's see performance so in your keyboard press f3 okay just click on here the text then press f3 okay so i get the solution it's about like if you're using google chrome then if you press f3 then you will get the search option or if you use uh, firefox then you have to press 
shift then f3 uh it's not working i don't know why it's not working but few minutes ago it's working as well oh, okay 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 one thing i got it here if you click on the sidebar and if you see here find uh okay find in page it's uh, it's control f then you will get the option so now i just put it here the text that i want to i'm just going to finding out so if you see here uh it's showing the let's see the performance and if you see here the another let's see the performance so we are going to delete the first one okay but if you see uh, I'm, I'm recommend you personally you using this google chrome because let me show you that if i press f3 and if i see it as you can see when i type this word if you see the sidebar we are getting this thing here but uh, in firefox we're not getting this thing so it's one kind of hard thing finding out so that's why i'm recommend to you okay highlight all okay here i that all i just highlight this thing and it's showing two matches so we are going to remove the first one so if you see carefully if you see carefully this means the code is um, i mean the tag is int if you know about the html then you already know that thing i mean this is means a start and if you see the slash this is means int so i'm just going to hover on here i'm just selecting this thing and i'm just reading and i have to close this thing from here something like i have to remove this thing and this is the tag is start and if you see the raw is close here as you can see the raw is close so i'm just going to press Control x or backspace or delete button as you wish then this code will be removed and if i go to here the preview option if you see the preview then you will see the list performance button will be gone and if you click on this backend uh, sorry sorry it's not stay this page okay so if you click on this backend editor you will get same thing as you can see oh still it's there because we had oh no it still is there but if you see the preview it will be gone because we did not save it that's why but if you remove the code from uh, this uh, file then it will be gone okay so if you see carefully this thing already updated and we have got only one heading okay if you think this is work as well i mean this working okay now what you have to do now what i have to do like i have to publish this page that you know we already see the preview and it's working as well so we are going to publish this page and we are not going to edit anything else in there but i think um I, uh, now you can add some text here for example i add some copy here and the text copy then when i will change the page when i will change the home page from here home page setting and i will change the page then i can easily understand what is the page so i'm just trying to add here i'm just copy here copy then i can easily understand because i will remove the first one because we see that this draft one it's working as well it's working because we see the preview and it's working as well so now we are going to the home page and you have to click on here the customize button if you see the top customize button you have to click on the customize button or if you're not finding out the customize button you have to go here the appearance and could click on there the customize button because now we are going to change the home page we are going to change the recently added page we are going to make this home page and if you turn the page then you, you don't have to edit the page and you don't have to you, you just have to change the url okay that's it so now if you see here now we are going to change the home page and uh, the home page it's about the copy the one, new one and i'm just going to make it published from here so let's wait and just make it published and then what we have to do we are going to delete this first one because we don't need it and click on the edit button again because now we have to we have to change the url and we have to change the name because okay so as you can see this is now the copy name so i'm just going to change the thing and the url is now something like so we don't have to do just click on this update button okay so this is the thing and this is the procedure uh, if you want you can follow or uh, if you not understand what i just do here please re-watch this video again and uh, nothing special i do it's i hope guys now we get a clear idea and uh, i hope now you can do it yourself but before follow this process must be take backup of your website and must be duplicate the page okay 
because if you not take backup or if I not uh, take or if I not duplicate then if you make mistake then you cannot undo your website so must be do this thing and if you're working on page then must be see their article I uh, see their link must be see their link the here if you click on the edit button then you can customize the link as well as you can see must be see the link okay I hope guys it's help for you okay watching if you like this video click on this like button and if you need on my channel so please consider and subscribe and if you face any kind of problem or if you need any kind of web services then you can go get a expert you can talk with them i hope they will help you